Hey guys, so I've been processing slow motion footage the wrong way inside of Premiere Pro. Recently, I made a tutorial on how you can interpret your 60 frames per second footage onto a 24 frames per second timeline, but it turns out that way actually gives a few problems later on when I'm editing. So there's another way that's actually better, doesn't have as many issues or glitches, at least in Premiere Pro. This is specifically for Premiere Pro, however. I don't know how this works on other editing software. So instead of interpreting the footage, you should instead go to the clip right click on it, go to speed and duration, and change the percentage of the speed depending on your frame rate. What should you set the speed percentage to? Here's a formula. I shot this footage in 60 frames per second and I want it to be slow motion on my 24 frames per second timeline. All I have to do is divide 24 by 60 and that gives me 0.40, which translates to 40% of the original clip's speed. So all I have to put in the dialog box is 40% speed. So now the 60 frames per second video will play in perfect slow motion in your 24 frames per second timeline. Another example, if I shot in 120 frames per second and I want it to be slow motion on my 30 frames per second timeline, what you'd have to do is divide 30 by 120 and you'll get 0.25, which in other words is 25% of the original clip's speed. So in other words, you just have to divide the frame rate of your timeline by the frame rate that you shot in. Now you might be thinking this is more work than just interpreting the footage to whatever frame rate you want. Well, here's a few problems that come up with interpreting your footage that you don't see when you just change the speed of the footage. Reason number one, it's messing up my proxies for some reason. When I render proxies from Premiere using the same frame rates that the original footage was shot at and toggle the proxy icon in Premiere and I look at the footage to preview it, it plays just fine at the default speeds. But right when I interpret the footage to 24 frames per second and preview that, the interpreted version of the proxies usually glitch out or mismatch from the original footage. I don't know why, but interpreting footage with proxies attached to it in Premiere Pro usually causes a lot of problems with the proxies. But if I just change the speed and duration of the clip, no matter whether I have proxies turned on or off, it plays smoothly. Premiere sometimes has problems with speed ramping footage that have been interpreted, but when you just change the speed of the footage, it doesn't really have problems with speed ramping or changing any of the settings of the video. I, again, don't really know why, but for some reason just changing the speed and duration just works a lot better. All right, that's it for me. I hope this was a helpful and not too boring of a video. If you have questions, drop them below and I'll see you in the next one.